Happy Thanksgiving, Jive Turkeys! Welcome to a special episode of Comic Reviews of Fate, because this, I, at the same time, I will be covering the first annual Manos Day Parade. Yes, I'm sponsoring a parade. Unfortunately, I didn't have the budget to have two cameras, so I'll just be describing everything behind the camera as I do these comic reviews. Uh, it's totally real. And, of course, they're brought to you by Red Knight, the comic I self-publish. It's available on two sites now. You can order in the uh, comic on uh, Manos Publishing Etsy shop and PrimalPaperComics.com. Uh, issue 5 is now available. Also on PrimalPaperComics.com, uh, the uh, first issue of The Ends by Jeff Hewitt is going to be available. You can pre-order it now, and I think you can even have a, a subscription. It's pretty cool. Now... Now, the uh, first... Oh, actually, uh, before we start uh, the reviews, there's actually uh, a float already. It's the DC Comics 52 float. It's very cool. All the characters are kind of dancing around the Back to the Future score. Uh, there's RoboCop. And, um, oh, it seem, there seems to be something weird. Uh, the Tim Drake Robin is being asked to get off the float mid-parade. That's weird. Oh, oh okay. Anyway... The first review this week is Daredevil number 20 by Mark Wade and Chris Sinead. Now, we left Daredevil at a pretty crazy spot. The, uh, the character, the spot, has changed his name to Coyote, uh, named after kind of the trickster god that I've never heard of. Um, not the cartoon character from Roadrunner and stuff like that, although he's a supervillain, might as well be. And uh, he's devised this incredibly ghastly device using his uh, portal technology to uh, literally separate people's heads from their bodies. And he does that to Daredevil. He leaves his body chained up. And he's carrying him around like Yurik. Uh, Yurik. But um, anyway, he's explaining, hey, what's he been doing lately? He's been really innovative with this technology and using it in very horrible ways. Uh, the drug mule thing, I think, is disturbing. And then we get to his closet of heads, which is horrifying, and they're all alive. Uh, they're not dead heads, like, uh, like uh, Jeffrey Dahmer's closet. So uh, what's cool is Daredevil once again uses his powers in an effective way where he's able to... His, his body is still alive. I mean, he's still... In the portal, like, I, it only... It's not literally separated. It's just because of the portal. It's in two spots at once. So his body is still like responding to his uh, his head. So he devises a really cool method of escape. Uh, we also have a really interesting kind of cliffhanger here. Uh, once he uh, defeats him, it causes a new problem. Wow! 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 This is great. Five RAM chips. I love it. Now. Uh, Captain Marvel, issue 7, by Kelly Sue DeConnick. Uh, there's going to be some help here with writing. Uh, Christopher Selbella uh, helped with the script. Dexter Soy is uh, back with this issue. <clears throat> and he's very well used in this issue. Uh, I think um, his art style really works with this uh, story. See, Captain Marvel uh, decides to help out ex-Captain Marvel, uh, Proton, with a weird mystery that's going on uh, under sea where all... These uh, cars and planes and boats are just appearing like underwater, and it's uh, really kind of like a nice, creepy, serene uh, page here. And let's see, yeah, uh, cool shark attack. And uh, the uh, dialogue between um, uh, the two women is uh, really fun. I don't know if they've had a long history together. Uh, maybe just being Captain Marvel, both of them uh, has like kind of created some kind of a, a link, but uh, also a character from the Miss Marvel pa series actually shows up. Uh, Frank, actually. I uh, haven't seen that guy in uh, forever, I guess. Uh, but the, uh, the dialogue really works a lot. They have a really good chemistry together. And, of course, we have this really cool action uh, cliffhanger where all of those vehicles form... Uh, what's his name? A giant robot, which uh, I, I think we're going to see some cool shit next uh, month. Uh, love this a lot. You should definitely pick up Captain Marvel. Uh, great book. Five Ram Chips. And, oh, hey, we have a new uh, balloon coming up. It's the Torgo Balloon from Manos, the Hands of Fate. Uh, known to everyone as, well, not a very good movie. And uh, here's a fun fact about the uh, uh, balloon. Uh, eight million pounds of pressure is in each knee. It's it's quite fun to watch all the uh, the kids 
not know who the hell he is. Anyway, uh, issue nine of Avengers Assemble. You may remember if you actually watch my videos that I read the first issue, but it, it, it was okay. Uh, but Kelly Sue DeConnick has now joined the the writer staff, and she is doing this with uh, Stefano Caselli, and. I think she mentioned in uh, her Tumblr or uh, her Twitter that she was going to uh, play around with the uh, the the uh, the bro the science bros uh, theme that uh, Josh Wheaton had between uh, Stark and Banner, and she does it really effectively. There's, uh, I, I think she was a pretty good uh, choice to take over from Bendis. She definitely has that kind of, uh, she she definitely works really well with the Brian Michael Bendis Josh Wheaton approach to the Avengers, where you know. The characters have a uh, you know a lot of fun and rapport with each other. Uh, the adventure starts essentially where there's this mystery going on in the Arctic, and Banner and Stark have a little bet. They decide, hey, why don't we find out who can solve the mystery better with uh, our super science prob uh, abilities? So they form two teams, and there's a lot of fun uh, dialogue here. My favorite scene is actually. Uh, <laughs> Spider Woman. She yeah, they asked Spider Woman to join, and she talks about how she'll work with Hulk because she can control him. And Hulk says, "You know, you can't control me." And she goes, "Really? Make me a sandwich." And we have a really fantastic scene. Probably one of my favorite scenes of all with Hulk. <laughs> it's he's making her a sandwich. Um, there's also some uh, wonderful dialogue uh, going on between the characters, kind of watching the scene. And uh, Captain Marvel actually decides to be sort of the official on this whole thing, and they're watching it from afar in uh, their home base. And where is that page? Um, they're keeping track of score. Uh, Captain Marvel, Spider-Man, and Wolverine are watching uh, back at Stark ta uh, Tower. And I don't know if you noticed this, if you read this, but on the chart, the score chart, uh, Thor and Iron Man are called Team Happy, and Hulk and Spider-Woman are called Team Sad. Uh, there's a lot of fun stuff, and of course, uh, at the end, uh, they're attacked by monsters. So, um, good start, I think. Uh, I'm going to give this a, a pretty solid... Uh, well, actually, oh, it didn't talk much about the art. The art is uh, pretty good. It's, you know, uh, I'm, I'm not too familiar with uh, Stefano's work, so... Uh, the facial expressions actually are my favorite. I think he does a really good job with that. I'm going to give this five ram chips. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, oh, and uh, let's see, I think we have a new... Oh, it's the cosplayer, uh, it's the women's cosplayer dancers. They're uh, doing their tribute this year to Tony Harris. And, whoa, that's obscene. Oh, God. Uh, nothing to see here. Uh, the uh, next issue is X Factor 246. 246 issues of a comic book? I've never heard of such thing. Uh, this is by Peter David. And who is doing the art on this one? Uh, Paul Davidson. And uh, what you think is just going to be kind of a throwaway one-shot featuring a character nobody cares about uh, turns out to be pretty interesting. You get to see a, a side of Pip the Troll uh, that, frankly, I didn't suspect, and you know the kind of world he has going on. And he has a lot to it has a lot to do with him kind of impressing uh, this woman, going to elaborate uh, uh, lengths. We get to see his his side of you know how it is to work in the uh, the X Factor detective agency and even an attack on on the uh, on the headquarters by these mutant hating ninjas or something like that and I think he kills them if I'm not mistaken um, and then of course the uh, the woman comes back with a shocking scene at the end oh uh, wow this is much better than I thought it was frankly uh, I, I thought it was just gonna be a you know fun toss away issue but uh, I really liked it a lot. I'm very impressed by it. Uh, Peter David, you know, I should have shouldn't be too surprised. Peter David, for God's sakes, uh, he can always like you know surprise you. Uh, this is five ram chips. It's a really good book. Now uh, let's go on to. We've moved on from Marvel. Now we're going to Image. I have two Image books here, and in uh, just a moment uh, we have an. Uh, the, there's a new. Uh, Parade, there's there's a parade spectacle coming up. I'll uh, I'll get to it in uh, just a moment with uh, after I do the glory reveal. Uh, it is issue thirty of Glory uh, by Joe Keatage and Ross Campbell. And hey, did you know that uh, Glory had adventures with 
uh, Gertrude Stein and Ernest Hemingway? I didn't know that either. Um, that's a story uh, uh, Gloria tells uh, <laughs> Riley about in the in the first scene. Uh, wow, a beautiful art. By the way, um, the first the flashback scene is done by a different artist, uh, Roman uh, Murredoff or something like that. Sorry. Uh, What's nice is, you know, the, the style really differs from um, Ross Campbell's style when we bring it to the, uh, the present. And Ross Campbell's style looks really beautiful here. I don't know if he uh, did a different uh, color style or had a different uh, inker, but it uh, looks really, really, it looks a little more solid than, uh, than normal. Uh, it may be a little more detailed, but it's beautiful. Uh, anyway, she has her, uh, what, what, Glory, what Glory needs to do is she needs to team up with her uh, rival slash sister, uh, Blood Shadow, I, and uh, Blood Shadow is running a uh, let's see a strip club dive kind of place, and they intervene and they have this horrific fight that gets one of her body, <clears throat> that gets one of um, uh, Blood Shadow's uh, doorman uh, killed. Actually, uh, actually nobody gets killed easy in this series. I mean, holy crap. Um, the fight is fucking brutal. I, 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 as a matter of fact, they hit each other so hard their hands explode. That's a fight. Um, anyway, the, afterwards they uh, do agree to uh, team up. Uh, meanwhile, their parents have their own sort of plans going on. The, buy this book. This is a great book. If you're not happy with a particular book you're collecting uh, month in, month out, dump it. Buy this. Five Ram Chips. It's one of the best series going on right now. And... Oh, uh, now we got that uh, parade. Uh, oh, uh, great! I think this is going to be really entertaining. Uh, the uh, cast from the new Broadway hit, The Human Centipede, is about to perform a number. Uh, it's, it's really delightful. Uh, I think the song is called... <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's quite, quite great. Anyway... Uh, we have the newest issue of Saga. Now, they do sort of these uh, breaks in between uh, stories. Uh, we've been off for a couple of months. And issue 7 is here by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. Well, uh, we get to meet the grandparents. <laughs> and uh, let's see, last we left, uh, our, our heroes are traveling in a spaceship tree or a tree spaceship or whatever you want to call it. Uh, which I think is one of the most beautiful concepts I've seen in a science fiction fantasy story. Um, the problem is the uh, the one, uh, the grandmother sent uh, the babysitter off somewhere on the nearest planet. You know, during the struggle in issue six, so they got to go get him. And meanwhile, uh, we're having a different kind of adventure here. With, uh, with there's a giant, giant, horrible cyclops that looks like Rush Limbaugh. Um, I don't want to show them to you, uh, but uh, you just experience it on your own. I think. I, I think that's. I think that's what you should do. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the conversation with Grandpa turns weird. Uh, beautiful art, uh, fantastic story. I never know where the, this thing is going. Uh, I think this is probably. Uh, man, I may do a video about the best series currently going on right now, but. Um, this is just an amazing book. I highly recommend it. Uh, five Ram Chips. I think we've had a lot of good stuff this week, actually. Uh, did I give anything less than Five Ram Chips? I don't think I did. Uh, well, that's something to be thankful for. All these books I picked up were great. And I think the parade is done. It's, it's been a wonderful show this, this year, and I hope we can uh, do it next year. Uh, I think now I just need to... Let's see, where's the papers? Oh, here it is. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is to, every Thanksgiving, check out the paper uh, and see what's going on. Um, Lindsay, is this it? Is there, is there more? Oh, there's more paper. Now, those are the, this is the paper paper. These are the ads. Can you show me the ads? Push the button, Lindsay. 